Hello everyone, this is Pixel, and I'm sorry if you can hear the PlayStation in the background overheating. I'm not going to do anything to stop that. Well, it's not that I'm not, I just can't, or it'll mess up what I have going. Anyways, I'm hoping this will be a bit of a fast-paced video, because it's pretty, pretty late at night, and I found some things that's been getting me angry, and I need to find some way to let off my steam. So this video will be about things that I hate, and I hope that at least some of you, or one of you, can relate to almost all of these things. The first thing I hate is people that title YouTube videos or comments with way too many explanation points. More than one, actually. What, what are you trying to do? Overemphasize how serious this is or how funny it is? It's like when you try to outdo a plural. I, I wanna, No, so whenever you try to out plural a plural, it's not going to work. And whenever I do see that, I immediately think it's clickbait and I ignore it. I go to all costs to ignore it. Number two, people who insist that you have kids when that sloppy minivan that's dirty and has cheese puffs all over the place and only one of, th of three children are currently present in this estate truly proves that my family and your family were not meant to have kids in the first place. So stop insisting because I'm not going to have them in your example A. I hate PC communities and Xbox communities because only one or two people are in PC communities. The people who don't care about the PC community and the people who think that they are the gods among the earth. I hate the people who think they are gods among the earth because you are not. Okay, if you're going to look at the, if you're going to list all the facts as if, as if it's they're just completely better, which by factual and technical and technical they are better than what people on consoles have, but. If you're not going to acknowledge the fact that PlayStation community is better and Xbox communities are better in certain ways and games are better in, in both consoles and PlayStation is catching up and Xbox is slowing down, then you have a problem that you need to unveil your, your thick veneer of naiveness. And Xbox communities, I hate how they're always so generic and stereotypical. Like you, like I said, only one or two people ever fall into these categories. The people who are below the age of 14, the people who are above the age of 26. I don't know why, but there never seems to be anyone in between. And if there is anyone, anyone in between, then they sound way too young to even acknowledge the fact that they are not, that they are not supposed to be in that category. <sighs> People, I also hate people that are that use sophisticated words that roughly mean what they think they mean. Like, I could get if, if it actually falls into the pretenses of what it actually means, and if it's deeper definition or second definition or how you use it actually is supposed to mean that, I can get that if you use that. But if it roughly means, as in if you connect it it's using a sentence, a certain sentence, a string of words, then it will mean what you mean, then we have a problem. Stop using those words and use dumber down words. It's not, it's not it's not, it's not that it's gonna that I can't understand it. It's that it, that it will unembarrass yourself. I hate spoilers. People who spoil things are the worst kinds of people. I've had things spoiled all the time, and I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. And that's whenever I started sh trying everything I can to avoid the internet when something good comes up. The worst thing is that they're like trolls. People, they do these things for a reaction. And I also read something that it's a news thing. Uh, that someone spoiled the Star Wars movie and then was beaten up, and then they were wondering why they got beaten up. That's the reason why. I hate people that are stubborn. Yeah, there you go. I, I hate the people who act depressed and suicidal when they really have jack shit to be depressed or suicidal about. My imper my friend is example A. He is richer than me, and he has everything better than me. He has a loving mom, and he has a big, giant house. And I also have loving parents and loving siblings and a big house, okay? Except for he acts as if he's depressed and he acts as if he's, you know, the person who's always being kicked down. When in reality, he has things that everyone around us would be lucky to have, including me. I hate people like that, especially in the case. So in where we are, there's only three kinds of people, which I'm going to knock off another video because this is also a video that I had an idea of making. There's the really depressed people who actually have reasons to be depressed and, you know, sad, which I try to help those people. Then there's the people like him who be depressed and sad when in reality they don't have anything to be depressed or sad about. I was like this until a certain point in my life. I thought to myself, wait, what do I have what do I have to be depressed about? My life can literally not get any better. So I stopped being depressed and I wrote woke up from that thick veneer, I'm gonna use that again, of anything, whatever, use the word you want to describe that. When a people like him, they haven't woken up from that. And they need someone like me to, to actually pull them out of that deep sleep that they're in. And even then, they'll just fall back into it. 
And the third person is the person who's in between and who is perfectly fine with either one, which would be not me, but someone similar to me. I hate babies and toddlers. The reason why they're babies and toddlers. <sighs> okay, so this is why I'm, I'm considering adoption and not pregnancy. If I could adopt someone who's at the age of about six or seven, maybe hopefully higher, then I would. But I, but I can understand why people want to have children, just for those precious moments of whenever it's true happiness. Okay, that I can get. But whenever you're actually trying to shove them into people's faces, saying, hey, look how well how well I raised my kids, that's going to stop them from having kids. So stop doing it, or else you're going to slowly, slowly diminish that bloodline. I hate games that everyone that everyone thinks are perfect. Like, this is the perfect example would be Grand Theft Auto Online, the early years. I say the early years, like in the few months, everyone thought it was brilliant, when in reality there was so many cracks in it that you could not see your own reflection. I hate that so much. And people are so blinded by how bright and shiny the game is that they refuse to, uh, they actually just polish over or just sort of glide right on over the smallest cracks and everything and the biggest mistakes that are in the game. They say, oh, it's a big game, it's fine, they all have them, but nothing, but that is like game breaking and forced me to stop playing the game for a while. I hate people who only get into the series because it's relevant. The perfect example is Suicide Squad and Star Wars. Now, whenever I grew up, I loved Star Wars. My dad had introduced me to it, and that's what bridged the, the generation gap between the two. And now that, now that the Star Wars movie has come out, everyone's into it, and people have acted like they're into it ever since the beginning of time, when in reality, they've bullied people like me just for uh, actually talking about it or being around its presence. I hate people like that. And, the, and what I'm trying to connect to Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. No one knew who she was. Now, everyone acts like they knew everything about her, when in reality, they knew nothing about her, and they just really wanted to know who... Who that girl with the blue and red hair is. Blue and pink hair. And finally, not finally, but this is all I can think of at the moment. I hate hypocritical, stereotypical Christians. What I mean by hypocritical and stereotypical is whenever they act all, you know, high and mighty above every other religion, okay? And that's not really okay, but that's not why I hate them. I hate them because whenever someone points out a flaw in their religion, then they completely ignore it as if there's nothing wrong, and they go on about their day pointing out flaws about every other thing. I hate th I hate people like this. The chances are I'm going to make another video like this are pretty damn likely. Now please tell me in the comments or the dis discussion, I finally figured out what it was called, if you agree and what you agree on. I'm sorry to make such short videos. Actually, this is a quite long video. It's longer than the GTA video I just posted, which, by the way, I'm very happy about. I finally got them connected. Other than that, I probably will make another video the more and more I really think about what I absolutely hate. And I'm hoping it's fast-paced and continue to go on like this. Okay, now that is all. I hope you come back, come back for another time. <laughs> keep being yourself, keep being unique, and comment in the discussion if you agree. Goodbye.